Versatility is important with regard to ice in a cocktail bar. We elect to use different styles of ice to accomplish different goals. What we're trying to specifically control is balance, temperature, and water content in tandem. We've determined that different shapes and sizes of ice will lend a better aspect to specific cocktails, going from those that are being served over a single rock, as in an old fashioned, to an elongated spear, which is what we use for our Colin style cocktails. For shaking a cocktail that is going to be served straight up, we would use a single shaking cube. We can control the water content of that shake because we know that we're not using smaller, sweaty ice cubes creating unwanted water content. Now you can muster up a very theatrical shake behind the bar and, and amaze the guests in front of you. What we're concerned with is not so much the show, but the final product. What we stir our straight up cocktails with our Manhattans, our martinis, and the endless variations thereof would be with a style of ice that we call cracked ice or stirring ice. A larger piece will keep a drink colder, so that will help lower the temperature uh, of the cocktail prior to stirring. The smaller pieces will melt faster, hence introducing desired water content. So we have formulas and we have equations relative to our ice and relative to the other ingredients that go into our drinks. You can't really have any lack of attention to detail in that equation or else either the balance, the temperature, or the water content is going to be sacrificed.